Hi. Uh, so here I am making a video of the uh, a tutorial video for the intro, guitar intro for Ric Flair, because so many people gave some uh, lovely generous donations to uh, charity. Uh, we said we would. So here we are. So the first thing you're going to need is a genuine fake Gibson three three five. Now, once you've got your genuine fake Gibson 335, very important that's fake, um, what you need after that, and this is a secret to the song is, a capo. You know you need a capo. Alright, now you're ready to go. Right, now the thing about this guitar part is it's dead hard, and I probably pull it off in real life one in five times. There's going to be some heavy editing in this video. What you're going to want to do is play the chords right here. The first chord is a B flat 13, right? <laughs> Second chord is a D half diminished. E flat 7. And then the next one we got is a E diminished. So that's the chord you're going to follow for the first part. You're going to fill in the gaps with the little finger picky, chicken picky bits. I'll give you some close up. Your first finger, first wee twiddly bit. The second little toilet bit. Watch what's happening here with this hand. You'll notice it's just a straight hammer on and from nothing else it goes. And it's got a cheeky uh, uh, flat too. And it And then we're just doing the next chord which is a uh, minor, G minor 7. So see dominant seven, but also with a sharp five. Uh, the third down to a minor third as well. Observe and close up. It's all about the percussion, note, right? And the fingers are all doing this. All right, next we're on to the tricky bit, which is uh, this uh, tricky wee bit here, uh, and it's based upon this chord, which is a very important chord. Tom McGuire chord, Tom McGuire chord, because uh, I made it up and I invented it and never been played before. Some other people call it a, a, a living chord over the five, but I like to call it Tom McGuire chord because uh, I did make it up. Everybody else is a charlatan and a liar and a plagiarist. Uh, so the finger picky bit over it goes as follow. Close up and in slow motion. Six. Big big country six. We're utilizing a lot of open string in this song, this is why we've got this thing here. Then we're opening A string and then to the D on the top string. We're forming this chord. Then we're holding the chord while we do this bend here on the uh, the B string. Then we're forming the uh, uh, it's just a E flat triad. So we got the next chord is the four chord, but it's a minorized four chord, and it's over the three in the bass. Ooh, which you'll recognise as the Christmas chord. I don't want a lot for Christmas. There's just one thing I need. I don't care about the presents. Underneath my Christmas chord. Isn't that, that open E string there? It's just F, of course. We're doing that because we like a little bit of dissonance. Dominant 5 chord next, everyone's favourite, and it's a, in this key is all, obviously F7. And what we're doing is we're using that chord and picking technique, but we're walking up the tones. Once again, we're utilising this open string. Observe, close up and in slow mo And then we've got the final trick, tricksy pull off bit. A lot of people are getting this wrong, they are not considering the open strings. That's why we've got this. A lot of people play like this. No, 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 no. It's not a hammer on there. This is not a hammer on there. This.
together, man. to do is you want to get all your homies to clap on the two and four and go Woo! yeah <gasps> and stuff and then you're uh, away at the races mm -hmm. 